Hey guys, so I'm here with Lucas Lapree, who needs no introduction. Uh, Lucas is a nine-time world champion. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but also he was my coach for three years when I trained in Atlanta. Uh, Lucas is known for having great all-around jiu-jitsu, especially his guard passing. Uh, but this video, we really wanted to focus on his guard, the sit-up guard. Uh, so I think the sit-up guard is like probably one of the most powerful guards in jiu-jitsu for sweeping someone, especially someone a lot larger than you. Uh, a lot of people think of like X guard and positions like that, but I've seen Lucas sweep. I mean, you did the absolute Europeans. You swept that Saif guy who I think is like 300 plus pounds. I uh, swept Kynan Duarte with it. So there's a lot of small details that he does with it that just make it super effective. So uh, since I'm in Charlotte, I wanted to take the opportunity to get him on the channel to show some stuff. Hey everyone, it's a pleasure to be here at Jonathan's uh, YouTube channel. You know, like uh, we know each other for a long time. Okay, it's a pleasure to, to be here and show a little bit, you know, about like uh, the concepts that I think is really important you guys know about it, the setup guard. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna show you guys the concept that I, I think is really important, that you guys cannot miss it, about uh, how you guys gonna control the setup guard. Okay, before you eventually sweep your opponent or back take, whatever, okay? Once I'm, I'm here on the De La Riva, okay? Really important, like, you know, I like to hold this sleeve over here, okay? It's really important, the grip, the sleeve, and then also I grab the pants, okay? The De La Riva is gonna be nice and tight all the way up, very close to his hips, okay? This way I can control his knee a little bit better, Okay, if I do it here too shallow, the guy's gonna open the knee and put my De La Riva out. I go all the way up and keep my ankle flex, like so, okay? And my other foot all the way up to his hips, not here, it's not all the way down, all right? That I have a little bit more control and put my opponent a little bit more out of balance, okay? Also, my hips have to be flat, almost on top of his foot. It's not to the side, okay? It stays here that I have really good control it be easier for me to start putting him out of balance, okay? At this point over here, most of the time, the guy's gonna hold my collar, exactly. I just start like pushing him forward, okay? I can also, if he drives too much, you know, forward, I bump him a little bit, when he, when he like, you know, block me, and then I push him back. So that's really, really important, especially like when he drive his knee forward and put pressure on me, Looks like I'm gonna fake it, that I'm gonna lift him up. When he bases it, is the time that I'm gonna push and sit up. Okay, that's gonna prevent him to start and you know, pass. Another detail that is really important, do not let him grab your pants. I'm gonna like, keep holding the. Now from here, like, you know, I'm gonna keep one, two, keep like, every time, like, the guy's gonna start put the pressure on me. Okay, even though the guy's gonna try to, to, to push my leg, I just bump him a little bit. When he bases out and then I just push him. As I sit up, okay, I'm gonna keep my foot over there, keep holding the sleeve, okay, and trap his ankle with my leg, the way that he's not able to backstep, okay? And then I'm gonna hug the guy's leg, look how tight I am. I'm gonna put my arm all the way through, okay? Also, as I start doing this, I'm gonna look, in, I'm gonna pull the guy's knee towards to me, Okay, because from now, it's easier for me to reach his lapel, okay? So look how I'm gonna sit up, hug the guy's leg, put my arm as deep as I can, okay? And then I'm gonna bring the guy's knee to, to, to me a little bit. That way, when he, I bend his knee, it's gonna be easier for me to reach his, his lapel, right? So notice that I do not let you go the sleeve, okay? That's the main detail as well when I, when I sit up guard. Because if I don't have the sleeve, he can base over there, over there and start up by the underhook and start passing. So once I have this grip over here, for me it's fine. Okay, even though the guy's gonna push my, my leg down and try to you know, put, the, put the pressure on me, he doesn't go much further because of this hand. And immediately, what I'm looking for over here right now is, I wanna start like, as soon as he push my, De La, my, my foot down, I'm gonna put my De La Riva in, 
and put my back on the floor again. You see, so I have the De La Riva in, plus my right foot behind his, hem, his leg. Okay, now he can apply the hook, the guy can grab any collar that, you know, he, he wants. So now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start now, lift him up, okay, and start go lift, and then I'm gonna keep my De La Riva, look that, and drop my right foot down. And then now, as soon as I go here, and then I give up the De La Riva, and start sweep him, start putting the pressure, and start connect the pass right away, okay? So of course that we do have like so many variations, okay? But this is one that is you know, very common to happen. So this over here, okay? So as soon as I, I'm already on the De La Riva, I'm gonna hold the pants and hold the sleeve, okay? So, and then like, I, I feel that the easiest way for me to control my opponents is that I hold the collar, right? I hold the collar if I try to do other things, you know, but when I try to set up, I feel this control is stronger, okay? I hold it, the guy like, look how my feet is almost to, to, uh, together all the way up, okay? My De La Riva is gonna be nice and tight, Okay, and start like put the guy out of balance and then I go over here and sit up. Once I sit up, I drop my foot down, trapping his ankle. My shoulder is gonna be next to his knee. Okay, because if I'm too loose, is when my opponent is gonna push my leg down and start open the, the knee over here. Like, gonna open and put your knee on the floor. Like this, uh, your knee on the floor here. Like that. That happened a lot, okay? So to prevent this, because now the guy can push my leg and back step, Zach can come, you know, and come back. So to prevent this position, you do need to have your shoulder next and hug it. Look at that, how tight I am, okay? Now I'm gonna bring it and grab the lapel. I need to find a way to grab the lapel without letting go the sleeve, okay? So, so now from here, my opponent's gonna push down, I'm gonna put my De La Riva right away inside and put my back and bring him to me. Now he's totally out of balance. You know, anything I do over here, like he's just like base it, okay? Now is the time that I'm gonna lift him and make him base it. I'm gonna push him with my De La Riva one and my right foot that was behind his leg drop on the floor. When, he, when I push him a little bit away from me, now is the time that I come up, okay? That's really, 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 really important because I, know I cannot come up when his weight is on me. It's here, it's gonna be too, too heavy. As I go, I'm gonna push him and come up right away. I had to get the timing, the moment. Now I'm gonna start pushing him. When I start falling, I'm gonna start falling over here already and connect the pass right away, okay? So I have to do that to, pre to prevent him to start like the the game and recompose the guard the, easily. You get the back a lot from there as well, right? When the they back over, as well. When they over defend the single leg takedown. When like I push and then I feel that I cannot push a little bit away from me, look how I do it. Like I'm gonna do this. Let's say that I'm gonna get to the same position. I'm gonna be here, right? Nice and tight, hold the leg, he's not just here. I'm gonna hug it and push the guy's knee in with my shoulder, hold the lapel. Once I go over here, put my De La Riva, and get on the same position that we just did it, what happens? Sometimes when I lift my opponent, he's gonna base this hand, but then he's gonna put the weight on me, the way that I, I'm not able to go, look at that. I cannot, at this point, I know that's gonna be hard for me to get up, okay? But what happened? Before he come back to the hand on my collar, okay, come back to the hand, when I go here, he dropped the knee the way that you're doing. It's too heavy. I switch to the triceps right away. Now he cannot put his hand on my, on my collar anymore. Now is the time that I'm gonna like keep pushing him with my hand now. Look at that, and come up over here. If, if he stays over here, I just jump to the back. Right? Okay. So I can, I can stay here, and then from, from here I can just go, boom, and get the, the back take. But once I get the back take, again, my hands goes underneath the armpit. I do not go to the seat belt here. 
because I might be slide down. And me said, as soon as I get over here, my hands go underneath. Now I can push the guys over here with the foot on the floor, and then I'm gonna switch to the back. All right, guys, we're gonna do a few more variations, but real quick, I just wanna emphasize on a few things. Some of these really small details, they're the difference between what makes this technique or system work uh, versus like a world-class opponent and not. The small detail Lucas showed about going leaning forward and getting your elbow behind their, their leg, uh, I did a private with Lucas when he was in Sweden last time. That single detail completely changed the position for me. It makes all the difference. That's why it works so well when you're fighting like a really strong heavy person is it stops them from being able to get their weight on you. A lot of people when they do like the single leg, they have that problem. And I was always like kind of a flexible open guard guy. So I never, Lucas always told me in Atlanta, you should start working like the single leg guard. And I was like, no, you know, I like to play like spider guard, open guard, like Baron Bolos, that kind of stuff. And I was always kind of like um, resistant to working it. And then at some point I started doing it and I actually had more success sweeping guys with that game than I did my traditional game. Even guys who are great wrestlers, like I thought Leo Sajiro is a very good wrestler scrambling guy. It's very easy to single like people with that technique. So really pay attention to those small details because you cannot get those anywhere else. All right, guys, so uh, what we're gonna see now, the detail that, you know, I like to do it when I, when I disengaged, okay, the guys start to go away a little bit. So let's say that we are like, we are here and then I miss all the grips, okay? So for me to regrip again and get the position that I want, I'm looking for the legs, you know, uh, on these games, you know, I've not played open guard, spider, or lasso, so, or it's just his leave. So that means that I need to look for his, his legs. You know, especially if the guy is very explosive as well. If you don't reach the legs, the guy's gonna jump to the sides, you know, pass your guard easily. So what I'm looking for over here, and also you have to pay attention about the knee cut pass as well. You know, because a lot of times if you go straight to the, for example, I have the collar and leg, and maybe he's gonna already go over here and start cutting. Boom, that's happened very often, right? So to prevent that, you, you're gonna hold inside the knee. Like, imagine that I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna go over here now and start looking for inside the knee. Before I, I, like, I, I, I touch his collar and sleeve, I'm gonna go over here to slow my opponent down. And then I'm gonna drag him. My other hand goes inside underneath my leg and grab his ankle. Look at that. And my other foot over here is, re is really important too. Look how I hide my foot behind his knee. Because if I go in the same position, put my foot on the hips, if I'm here, the guy can like, can like, can like, can like drag me easily, look at that. So that's why I, do, I don't put my foot over here right away. I hide it, look at that. And then I'm gonna hold it, and then the guy's gonna start like, you know, go over here, and then look how he's gonna give me, you know, the sleeve, and then out from here. I can break and stay on there. De La Riva guard again, okay? So now is, uh, I start like this set up over here, like I like to start like, you know, put my opponent out of balance, you know, make him step, you know, make him uncomfortable. And then I go over here and sit up, okay? Hug the same way that we did before, put my arm all the way and looking for the lapel, okay? Without letting go the sleeve. Okay, so I just like stays here, even though that he's not giving the, the, the lapel, I can grab the, the belt, you know, but usually he cannot pass my guard if he keeps his posture very high, right? That's why also when I grab over here, I keep pulling him to, to me. Look how I'm gonna pull the, the sleeve plus the knee. Now I can grab the collar. That's a huge detail as well, okay? And uh, right now, what, what, what are we gonna do? Very common mistake as well, you know? The guy's gonna push my leg and start put my knee over here, down, uh, put his knee down. And then I'm, I don't have angle to put the De La Riva in, okay? All right, so my De La Riva, go to, go to the other side, please. Look that, my De La Riva, I cannot put it in because, again, because the idea when I missed my right foot here is replaced with my, with my De La Riva in. But sometimes I miss that. He's gonna go, boom, look that. And then I cannot put my De La Riva in. What I'm gonna do now is, uh, come on, on, on this side over here, please. Perfect. 
So now is what I'm going to keep nice and tight over here with the grip on the lapel. Keep holding the sleeve because holding the sleeve, I'm going to prevent him, even though the guy based the hand on the floor, but he cannot keep posted, you know? So I'm going to hold it. Even though his hand is on the floor, for, for me, it's fine. All right. So now is my arm is going to be in. Look my elbow, my right elbow in because I'm going to prevent him to keep cutting the knee as well. So now is I'm going to bring the guy, I'm going to use like the rock. I'm going to rock and put him on the, on the middle. Now I, I'm, I'm going to kick him. I'm going to push him with my inside leg. Look at that. Now I can come up. I'm going to be here. Go one, two. I'm going to push, sit up. My opponent's going to push my, my leg down and stay on the side. Look at that. Even though my opponent over here hold my collar like this, the biggest mistake is the guy's going to fight against this. I cannot go, you know, I cannot win, especially when, when the guy starts putting the hand on the floor. Look at that. Here, right? So I'm going to like go, 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 go here, then the guy starts to put the pressure over here. So I have to bring him, look how I'm going to rock and put my back flat. Now he doesn't have pressure. Now I'm going to kick him with my inside leg. Now I can come up. Boom, and start sweeping him. Back take, you know, whatever he gives to me. Okay, but that's going to be a huge detail that you don't fight against the, the pressure. Okay, that's, you know, when you're going to lose, right? So that's just like, you know, what I do all the time when I miss the De La Riva. You know, the guy's going to like, I'm going to be on the sideways. I feel that I have to rock like this, you know, use the core, you know, and uh, I have been doing this with like very heavy guys, you know, it doesn't matter like how heavy it is, how tight the guy is, here you always have, maybe you're not able to bring all the way, but just a little bit is going to be enough, just a little bit, and then you kick it and come up, just enough for you to put your opponent out of bounds. Awesome. Uh, okay, I'll just say a few more ideas. Uh, just thoughts I have, uh, and then we'll just plug everything you want at the end. It's good. You can be right there, it's fine. Uh, oh, yes, I do. Good call. You're a step ahead of me. Okay. Um, uh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Poor Daniel's going to have to edit the shit out of this. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. All right. Yeah, guys, so uh, that was a lot of uh, details and info. So, again, with the setup guard, uh, the sit-up guard itself is, in my opinion, the strongest sweeping position. I find it way better than X guard or everything for sweeps, especially versus larger, stronger opponents. As far as setting it up, you know, we covered setting it up from De La Hiva, setting it up like when you're sitting up with the knee grip that he showed. But also, if you already have a, a game with like spider guard in it, reverse De La Hiva in it, there's a lot of different ways to get to this position. So no matter what guard game you already have, if you just take the details he showed about how to control the lapel, how to get the arm behind the leg, the bumping mechanics and all of those details, it's a great weapon to always add into your game. Because even if you have like a submission oriented game where you like to stay in your guard and try to submit the guy, if you get into that like last minute of the match and like you're down and you have to get that sweep to try to win the fight, a lot of positions that are good classically, like spider guard, close guard, things like that, they're really good. But when there's like 30 seconds left, you can't make that something happen quick. But this is a position that you can sweep someone if you have 30 seconds left. Also, if you're fighting someone who's significantly more experienced than you, the chances of, uh, like, if I'm a black belt and I'm going with a blue belt, the chances that, like, a blue belt's going to randomly bear and bolo me is really low. But if I'm, like, tired, I'm out of position, and the guy's got a good setup guard, even if he's, like, a blue belt and he catches you off guard, he can come up on a single leg really quick. That's the most likely chance you have to really sweep someone and get points on the board versus someone much better than you. So if you like the content, uh, this is just a small amount of the details Lucas has on these systems. So Lucas has like, uh, I think, Lepre BGJ online or? So yes, as you mentioned, like, you know, I have the lap BGJ online uh, That's my online training program. Uh, also, I have the project with uh, BGJ Fanatics. We do have uh, the setup guard going to the back take. Uh, I have also the knee cut passing. I have also the science of passing. You know, so we have a lot of content there. Okay, so if you if you enjoy, just go and check it out.
And also thanks John for the opportunity to be here on his channel. He's doing an amazing job. Super proud of this kid. <laughs> awesome, John. Thank you very much, thank man. You so much. Of course. Of course.